What happens to your body when you fast during Ramadan? During the month of Ramadan, Muslims fast from sunrise till sunset every day of the lunar month. The Ramadan fast can be a natural and effective way for the body to detox and revitalize itself. But this can only happen if you follow a healthy eating plan and do not overindulge for iftar. Try your best to avoid processed and fried foods this month. Since we only have a few hours available to eat and drink, it's very important that we make the food we eat really count. Stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water and avoid things that contain caffeine which will dehydrate your body and make you feel very thirsty during the fasting hours. We know Ramadan is a very busy time, so most of us tend to cut back on sleeping hours to make more time for good deeds, which is amazing. But make sure you are getting a minimum of 6 hours of sleep daily. If you don't get your minimum hours, you could become very lazy in Salah and Quran time and that's the last thing we want. Also, please keep in mind that oversleeping will also make you lazy and less productive. So balance is the key. Here's a breakdown of what happens to your body when you fast in each stage of the 30 days of fasting. Stage 1. During the first couple of days of fasting, both blood sugar level and blood pressure drop. The body starts the cleansing process, and the first few days are the hardest as they are usually accompanied with headaches, dizziness, nausea, and intense hunger. Stage 2. During the second stage, the body becomes accustomed to the fasting schedule and the digestive system is able to rest. The digestive system focuses its energy on cleansing the body and healing the cells as the white blood cells in the body start to become more active. During this stage, the organs start their repair process as well. Stage 3. By the third stage, energy levels will have increased, your mind is able to concentrate better and an overall feeling of wellness overtakes you. During fasting, the body's healing process becomes a lot more efficient and so the body repairs any damaged cells during this stage. During this stage, the colon, liver, kidney, lungs, and skin are detoxing by eliminating toxins. Stage 4. During the last 10 days of fasting in Ramadan, the body has become accustomed to the fasting process. Your body becomes more energetic and you experience improved memory and concentration. At this stage, the organs are finishing up their healing process and once all toxins are removed, the body is able to function at its maximum capacity. These are just some of the physical benefits of fasting that will take place within the body. But the spiritual benefits this month are far greater than anything mentioned here.